Uh, so hello, let's convene the meeting. Um, Allison, I, I, you're, now you're trying to eat your only meal I'm of the all day. Done. All Can done. You, my, could, will you take minutes, please? Oh, sure. Yep. Yep. Because I've, I've got this alphabetical thing down now. Yep, you're right. And I'm doing well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, so Susan has distributed um, the minutes of the meeting of April 3rd. Um, do we have a motion to accept them? So move. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Any corrections? All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Terrific. Beautiful. Um, the center school. Uh, I have only one thing to report. Um, well, I suppose I have two things to report. One is that, uh, not surprisingly, the Massachusetts Historical Commission has had has not gotten back to us um, about the draft preservation restriction, but have no fear. I have a note on my calendar on date 60, and I will start to bother Michael Steinitz on that day. <laughs> Um, but I should report that I took it upon myself. I, I was thinking about the roof um, and uh, the fact that several people um, have mentioned concerns about it, uh, its viability. Um, and then I was in a conversation with Keith Bardwell. Well, I guess it may have been after um, Neil and I went into the center school to try to find a replacement for the broken um, schoolhouse light that Alan and his team <laughs> may have destroyed. One of our We're recording now, Donna. We're anyway, recording. That's right. Well, but it was all, well, but it's, it's cool. Anyway, it had a very, very happy ending. Very happy it's ending. It's fine. There is now a beautiful vintage light in the center front hall of the town hall. You should look up at it. It's much nicer than the reproduction ones. Um, but uh, Keith mentioned to me that he also thinks the, uh, the roof ridges are um, coming apart, that the structure itself is bowing. So I thought, well, maybe we should try to have Mahan, the really good uh, slate roof people come and look at it. So we actually have an opinion about that. And Brian agreed, this was all quite quick and the select board said, fine. <laughs> um, so, I talked to them and they are so busy right now that they are, will not even do an estimate. They're beginning estimates again in December. How do you spell the name of it? M-A-H-A-N. Okay. Um, so it was an idea that went no place. Um, does anyone else have any thoughts about the center school? The thrust of the newspaper article was that it might impede the sale of the building? Is that a possibility or? I, I don't know which article you're talking about. Well, it's something uh, it's in the recorder, um, a write up of your. On your of, meeting. I think of your select board meeting. Yeah, your oh, name just, was Oh, I didn't Last see that. Sometime? Yeah, I'll take that out and send it to you if you want. I've got it. Um, I've got it on the file for the Historical Society. I can circulate it. But it essentially said just what Donna just said. Yeah. Um, it said what? Hmm. That, that the condition of the roof may impede the sale? Uh, that wasn't quite the, what was the word? Just Something implying the, the, a potential spanner in the works, or um, that's not it either. The, well, of course, it's the headline, not the article, too, which is always uh, um, well. I, the sale. Yeah. All right. It was um, a possible issue, I think. Not. Yeah, it was. It was more. Oh shoot! That's it's a very common phrase. Anyway, it, it was the headline. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, the, the other article, thing that had occurred that had occurred to me, and I think it occurred to me while following the back and forth about the Russell mm -hmm. School and Hadley. Uh, that's been reported in the Gazette, it, that um, it would hypothetically be possible for the town to approve CPA funds to make some improvement to the center school. Oh, sure. If, which, and, and in my view, I mean, obviously within reason, 
it would be better to do that than have it go unsold. But so my aim was to figure out what reason would be, you know, what what could be done. Um, and I honestly haven't gone any farther because I have had the impression that this is just the best firm. Um, well, we could check the preservation mass consultant list and I, we could contact Joe and Switz to, to see what they know. Well, Mahan is who they used. Mahan did the um, the modest repairs on the town hall roof. No, I, I understand. Yeah. And, they, and you they know, the preservation mass it. list is not a recommendation from preservation mass. No, I understand. They just take, they'll put anybody on that list who says they want to be I, on the I list. I understand. But if, yeah. if you want to make the CPA off cycle. Well, I don't know how we could really. It's next week or it's in two weeks. No, it's it's June 13th or something, June 12th. Yeah. It's a whole month. Um, sort of ignoring holidays and Sundays and things like that. Yeah, I I talked myself out of it because you know these people, well, I had a Mahan family member come and look at our roof and he was so impressive and told me all kinds of things as we stood in the attic looking at the roof from the inside. Um, that I was very impressed and they don't charge for estimates, which is great. Um, and they did, they were doing at that time, all of Dartmouth College's slate roofs, which is a whole lot of slate. Well, I, know they're, <laughs> I know they're good. I just. Uh... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess I'm not interested in just calling people who've thrown themselves on the list. I wonder if, does anybody have, do we all have slate roofs? We all have slate roofs. No, no you don't. You don't. No, we don't. Uh, well. Uh, I'm trying to think the, what we have so some far. Yeah. We do. Yeah. Have you had anybody look at your roof while you've been here, um, Susan? We did relatively early on. I don't remember the gentleman's name, but I know that he was older and is since no longer in the business. I think you may have had the same person we had the first time who was well over 80. When he climbed up on our roof. Yeah, I think he's the one who did the church in, at the time yeah. of the bicentennial. Yeah. Um, I can ask around, Donna, and see. I, I don't, off the top of my head, know who it is that's worked on ours. Do you think Mike Dennehy might have some ideas? No, no, for sure. Yeah, that's a good idea to ask him. And if you're talking about the interior structure, that is something he is probably able to look at if if he has the time. You mean just up the road from us if you're talking about Mike? Yeah. 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 But he's well, a I, I mean, I actually thought the Mahan firm was being responsible because what is the point of doing estimates for people now when you're you know they're booked through a year through a through a year from that's now. what i'm saying but he could yeah. at least give you an opinion do folks think this is worth pursuing judy you obviously do yeah i do i've thought all along actually that the town ought to invest a little cp cpa money and just keep the building in standing i guess you want to say or, or from deteriorating further well one and I of the, things, the roof is obviously not a little but it may be right. the patching would be a, a good thing right i mean one of the things that i think got me thinking about this while i was talking with keith was that he mentioned that the east school was actually in quite good repair relatively speaking because this frontier district had continued to do you know um, preventive maintenance on the building um, while it was owned. Whereas he said to me, the town has done some work on the center school. I don't know if they've done anything since it stopped being a school. And that was- oh, They did some work on drainage at one point when it was- Yeah, okay. When they were getting- I mean, oh, Bless you. The allergies, that was, my God. I know, the, the, really pollen's, the pollen's terrible. Right. Um, you know, that was 32 years ago. Okay, Allison, will you ask Mike? I, I can you, ask him. Yep, sure. That would be great. That would be great. And if he's willing to look at it or to produce and and or to produce a slate roof guy, then um, 
uh, we'd want Keith to be there too, but the historical society also still has a key to the center school. So it's, All right, it's easy so to get if, in. If I get a hold of him, I'll, I'll, I'll need to get in touch with you, Donna, to make an arrangement to get into right. the- Right. Okay. 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 Yep. Okay. Good. Um, the East School, I think, Judy, you're in a better position to report where we where things stand with the East School. Well, they've been subject to a, a couple of delayed hearings, one on the planning board and one on the ZBA. I think the ZBA is either meeting tonight or... Um, I think they're I'm meeting on the 22nd. Oh, I think okay, they may be, yeah. Um, through clerical errors and, but anyway, the, they did have the special, the site plan review, which went very, very smoothly. I thought um, there were three or four abutters there. The site plan review is for the, well, you've seen all the documents, but you're looking at the exterior of the building, safety, lighting, drainage, that kind of thing. Um, impact on neighbors. And the main issues, uh, there were only two issues that people had, the, the abutters were very amenable to the use. Comments were all that this was a good use of the building. Um, they wanted screening from headlights in from the parking lot, both on the west side where Jade Gripko is and on the south where uh, Fred Orlowski's brother, is his name Bill? I think Bill or Orlowski. I think it's Walter, isn't it? Walter. Or maybe no. Yeah, Walter, Walter and yeah. Gary. Bill is the other brother. Um, so he said he'd do the screening um, with no problem. The other issue was the view at the intersection. There's a maple tree there that um, is evidently a, I don't know, a, Silver. You call, like a weed tree. But oh, it, Norway maple. It grows, Norway maple, yeah. You know, well, it's the, but the problem is the branches go almost to the ground. It looks more like a bush than a tree. And people want the lower branches trimmed up to to improve the sight line for the intersection. And Keith Bardwell wanted a, a um, damaged maple or a sickly maple tree on the, what's on the um, lot that was the playground or the field before removed. And that was basically it. Um, and uh, Mr. O'Bear was, was very obliging and the neighbors were very appreciative. I emailed Deborah Carney and said, I hope your hearing goes as smoothly. I can't remember a public hearing that went that smoothly for a long time. That's great. Um, there was a very long article uh, in the Observer, the free newspaper, about your meeting. Um, and, you know, Judy and I have been going back and forth a little bit because Bill, oh, sorry, Bob O'Bear <laughs> has said several times that the bill, he's been happy that the town is on the national, that built, school is on the national register now, which we don't think it is because they update that list online pretty pretty regularly. Weekly. Every, weekly. <laughs> weekly. I was going to say bi-weekly, but very regularly. Um, you know, we can't give money to the IRS, but anyway. Um, I wondered if he is confusing uh, qualifying for federal tax credit, historic tax credits with being listed on the national register. Yeah, or being on the I state mean, it doesn't, register. It doesn't something. really matter, but it's- It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. I haven't wanted to ask in an open meeting. Right. It doesn't right. matter. He right. did get the tax credits. Yeah. He would so. like to get all his permits in line before July 1st, because there's something about the building code changing that would make his construction estimates no longer valid. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it just affects apartments or residential uses or what, but if he gets his permits first, I think he's okay, or he thinks he is. 
but you you haven't seen anything at your um, in your meeting that makes you think that we need to show support for the project at the ZBA at the special permit hearing. I take it. No. No. Okay. I mean, they have they have the letter. They have the letter. That right, we wrote a letter, right? Did you say he's hoping to get permits by June 1st? July 1st, I think. July 1st, okay. I think. Um, just, I'm just thinking about that fabulous furnace, <laughs> uh, which will probably, I imagine, stay in the building because getting it out of the building would require Quite a lot of effort. He's um, very embarrassed by that upscale definition of his apartments or adjective describing his apartment. Upscale and is, it, it, uh, I thought from what I read, it's um, incomes in the sort of $75,000 a year range. Yeah, that's, that's which is higher than the median. At, but yeah, yeah but right, it's, it's, not, it's not 200000 a year. But it turns out that that was the description he put on the special permit application, so he couldn't. They're not very big apartments. No. Like 400 square feet, 500 square feet. Could you tell? I didn't measure. Yeah, but yeah. Um, they're, they're obviously not gonna have more than two people in them. I would imagine most will have one person in them. And there's not right. gonna be a lot of traffic there. It's, it's uh, or, or as he pointed out, a lot of headlights. So you can right. you know, all come out in and out five times at night. Well, good. Anything else about the e-school? Um, okay, I sent around a couple of weeks ago the site plans for J.D. Ross's um, proposed work at Fort Egypt Road. I saw nothing that warranted a comment from us. Did anyone else see anything that we ought to be um, having an opinion yeah, about? I looked through it and haven't really seen anything. It seems... um, okay, in that case, I think since we have sent, since the planning board has accepted our request to add the standing language about how to deal with evidence of prehistoric or historic um, activity, we don't need to do anything on that. Correct. Okay. okay. Um, I have a kind of sideline related question. The enormous, enormous black garage that's been added on Haydenville Road. Oh yeah. Is, is it Monahan's property? Yes. Is that what it is? Yes. A Monahan's property. A Mon there, but because there are also Monahan's properties in East Whateley, right, or on Five Ten. There, okay. Well, My question is: Did that require um, a site plan review or um, no a special permit? God. No. Really? It's really? certainly black. It's, it's big. <laughs> the garage. It's a garage. It is a garage. It is that. Yeah. <laughs> I it doesn't I I called the building inspector because it's in the aquifer overlay district. The only thing I could think was that it might violate what's called a lot coverage ratio, the proportion of buildings and non-permeable surface you can have because in the aquifer sort overlay of a district, sort of a, a footprint limit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, footprint and and paved surfaces, right. like driveways. And, um, and in the aquifer overlay, that's only 10%. And it looks to me like that thing, the house in the, quote, garage are like 50%, but um, evidently it's a, something like 9.5% according to the building inspector, so. Do you want me to put this in the notes? Are we? No, I think you could. Well, I think you could just say it doesn't violate any. I don't. They didn't you, need a special I, I, permit. They didn't need a site plan review. As far as anybody can tell, it's compliant. If you need it and put anything in the notes, that's. 
I don't think you need to put it in the minutes. Okay. It, it'll be in the tape. If, and, and, um, I, I was really just an idle question on my part. You're not the hoping, first to ask. <laughs> sort of hoping that the black kind of silvers like certain kinds of unfinished wood. <laughs> oh, I think it looks so much better dark than it did when it was tie back or whatever. It sort of makes oh, all well, those models. Well, that, yes, yes, that, yeah, for sure. Um, so um, I wanted the proposed North Street area submission to Macris. I wanted to ask if um, anyone would be willing just to take the lead on this, not to do all the work, but to kind of make sure we're actually doing it. Sort of the way, Susan, you did a very nice job with this when we were tracking down all the demolished and disappeared houses. Um, well, you did, you did, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we, um, because I, I think we've all agreed to do it, but, uh, but we're not. <laughs> no. Well, it has, well, I was prepared to volunteer for two parts of it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I'm prepared to volunteer for the Quan Quan part of it. I just have not had time to do any of this stuff lately. Yeah, I, I, I yes, but it, I know, I know that. I mean, and and we're all in. The, I think we are all in that state. But maybe just having the minutes say who is who is starting to do which parts would, um, I think that would be useful. I'll do the so data, the data sheet, and the architectural description. And what were you going to do about Quan Quan, uh, Allison? Well, we had talked about that being an element of the entry, I believe. And now oh, you're going to update it. You yes. Mean. If you update your area form, then. OK. Then we can reference the area form. If we think it would get us any results, I'm willing to, to mail to people their forms and ask them if they have any comment, anything that they know of to update them, um, at least as a first pass of if anybody wants to talk to us about this. I can't see I, why that would hurt. I think that would be a good idea. I, I, that's great. I think that's a great idea. I um, and I have stamps. <laughs> we have stamps. Ah. Uh -huh. We have not stamps. Even cost me stamps. If I haven't, if I haven't, I think I know where they are. If not, I will give you stamps because I bought them. <laughs> no. um, but um, I think I think it's important that the letter explain that this is a matter of having you know a good historic historical record and not. Um, will not um, limit the uh, prerogatives of the private homeowner in any way. Right, right. That just that yeah, the you know, right, right, right. Just, just updating the information sheet. That we're just updating it. Yeah, yeah, right. that would be great. I think yeah, that would be great. See if and anybody may... responds. The other, the other big missing piece is Lynn Sibley's house for which there's no form. And right. that's, I think if she, Somebody had time to sit down with her and find out how much history she has. I guess with with uh, Erica's house information too. Do you remember? Was... Did Erica do that house? Do you remember? Yeah, she did. She did. I think it's the David Scott house. But I don't think it was the original. I the original David Scott House was a lot earlier than that looks to be. But um, I don't I don't remember what's there what's there. But I know that that's because David Scott was such a important. I mean, his offspring and built the Wheelock's house and our house and um, moved into Susan's house and um, 
uh, the cake next to her. Um, it's a huge. And now, now of course the Scots have have all the other houses up on North Street. But so, Susan, what is it you're proposing to send out? And is it to everybody with an address on North Street? Well, anyone for whom we either have a mattress, mattress form and or Derek is right up on. I think we'd have to, I think we'd have to, um, I, I probably sent Derek's form out forms to you all just as Word documents. I think it would be important to label them as draft in progress because they are not you know, they, you know, to do something and mm -hmm. <laughs> make it clear what it is. They are not finished projects. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do we need to talk to to the historical society to do that? It, I mean, um, if, if it's their work. I, I will. Why don't I just uh, write to Derek and copy you and right. tell you to, and we'll, we'll just handle it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I just think, I mean, just out, out of courtesy, if nothing else. You know. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Because um, then I'm thinking someone like, you know, like Lynn's house, where we don't have the form, but we have Derek's research. It's a starting point for a conversation of what do you know beyond right. the correcting this, anything like that. Right, but right. And we could I'd like to include it. And, and you could also say to these folks that we have area forms for, you know, the other neighborhoods, not not something, not so much Quan Quan, which is a, a distinct entity, but we have them for many other neighborhoods. And this one was just never written up and it's time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, well, that sounds even great. Have to go that far. We could just say we're interested in updating the, the individual history. That's, oh, I that's, see. You, that's you mean not even, not, even get, not even get into the area forms? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, great. That's great. Okay, I can, I can do that over the next few weeks. Super. Um, and then um, on on Alan and Allison, do you want to? I don't want to keep harassing you. <laughs> <laughs> sort of when do you when do you want us to aim for it? Should we for finishing you as, that you as well, document? Nothing much has happened yet. Allison and I need to talk, I think, and figure out what needs to happen um, with the document and any mapping that might need to be done or might need to be possible. So you want to meet and do that together with some maps at some point? Would that sure. be a good way to do it? I did um I talked briefly to uh, Margaret Christie, who suggested that Scott Jackson has is the source of all maps. Um, well, we could just start with there. topo maps, Alan, I think. Yeah, topo's good, yeah. It's a good start. I'd like the soil maps too, which you can get on online. Yeah. Yep. So those two, I think, would do just about everything we need to do. So, that um, would be great. We should probably find a time. It's busy in the next few weeks, but after, but time can be found. I am allegedly retired. <laughs> I don't have much else to do, so. <laughs> um, uh, well, someone, uh, I think it was actually the um, reporter from the Observer, Doc Proin is the reporter from the Observer. Yeah, the reminder, about isn't it? Yeah. Pardon? P-R-U-Y-N-E. Am, am I saying it wrong? No, she is asking if that's a reminder and not the Observer. Think, oh, the reminder. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> the free newspaper, the reminder. Sorry. Um, he so was whatever, very... Whatever. In, yeah, yeah. Well... They they sometimes cover things that don't get covered in the the, um, uh, the solar panels. The solar panels on the school roof. Yeah, well, that was kind of a low that's, moment. That's probably what that's probably what caused the damage right there. He was very apologetic. <laughs> he, he was very apologetic and embarrassed about that. So it the allowed me to write to several good friends. <laughs> Several good friends wrote and said, that's a really great idea. And I wrote back just to them oh, privately right. and said, no, it is a very bad idea. <laughs> it doesn't need another pound of anything on the roof. No, it doesn't need a pigeon. Um, so um, he is very interested in, in this project. Um, and I think when it, you know when we're ready for showtime, he'd like to do a little article about what, how we're going to advise people. Which is okay. interesting. I thought that was interesting. 
um, okay, I told Susan this meeting would not take anywhere near an hour. And I think I'm probably correct unless somebody has yet more other business. Not here. Okay. All right, good. Um, the next meeting on the books is, I think, June 19th. Sorry, I'm turning around to look at my paper. I think it's June 19th. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll try to reach out to you all a little bit earlier than just three days before, just to see if, if we moved along on um, any of these several projects enough that we should have a meeting that day. Um, yes. I, suppose it's, I suppose we may have something on the center school by then too. Okay. All right, thank you.